So then joining us on the David Orton Show, one of the firm favourites of the show, Kino. Hello, how are we? Hello. Hello. We're doing great. How are you? Not too bad. I was going to say, like, you guys now have the record of being on the show the most at four. I was going to say, last time you guys were on was, was for Monument. So it's been a while. Um, yeah. yeah, it's and nice then, to be back. Yeah, and a few other times as well, because I know, Alexander, you've been on the show one more time as well, but that was on a, when you were doing Melody One Pay with Stella. So yeah. like way, <laughs> way, way back. So yeah. first question is, tell us about the new single, Dum Diggy Da. Tell us about it. Dum Diggy Da actually means the thing that makes you happy. And it's a song about just like embracing whatever that is that make you happy and just go for it do it and uh, we love uh, releasing happy music we love uh, being part of uh, mgp so yeah that's uh, it was a fitting song for the season yeah i was gonna say um so full disclosure for everyone who's listening now we're recording this on a monday before melody grand prix so we don't know whether you went through or not so <laughs> before anyone gets confused so what, <laughs> made, what made you go back to melody grand prix then what made you want to do it again I mean, we kind of decided in 2021 that we wanted to come back uh, if we had the right song. And the second we wrote Dum Diggy Da, we instantly had this feeling that this makes us feel something. We're happy, we smile, we laugh, we dance. And this is the song for MGP. And here we are. Wow, I was going to say, yeah, because you guys have got, had a couple of goes at it. Like after doing Spirit in the Sky, Monument, and Dum Diggy Da, it's all, it's all going off. So going into the questions from the listeners, so Adam's asked, Considering the amount of your songs that have Europop vibes, are there any Europop bands or singers that have had an influence on the music you create? I don't think it's one particular uh, band, but like we listen to so much music and I remember, yeah, I, I think Aqua were pioneers when it came to uh, like bringing the, the Scandinavian Euro uh, pop uh, out to the world. But also a, a lot of other uh, Norwegian bands and, and you have E-Type in Sweden, which was like one of the first things that Max Martin worked on. You have uh, Ace of Bass and all these kind of like uh, pop tunes, but with a like happy message uh, to it. And which became then all the, I would say, the pop from of the 90s with Britney and uh, Backstreet Boys and, and mm. NSYNC. Uh, I think it's already rooted in the Euro pop. Yeah. Wow, I was gonna say, that is a, that is a really, that's like my iPod right there. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> all right, uh, so Nyla's asked, out of all the songs you've released, what is your favorite to perform live? Ooh, Ooh. Uh, right now, uh, of course, Dum Digida. That's so much fun. But also Spirit in the Sky, uh, because we had that song in Eurovision and so many people know it. They sing along, they yoik along. Mm. And yeah, that's a banger in every yeah. concert. Mm. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, because like, speaking of all, all the concerts that, you, that you've done, David asks, so another David asks, any chance of any UK gigs outside of London? Because you guys have got a slight penchant for doing London Eurovision party and heaven that week on the weekends. So any any UK gigs outside of London coming up, do you think? Uh, well, we we definitely want to perform everywhere in the world. Um, we are uh, we are planning some tours, but nothing is set in stone yet. And but definitely uh, UK is on the list, and we really want to want to travel uh, across the UK. We we were lucky enough to uh, to perform in in a, in a various like in, in a few places the last April and May. Uh, and which was amazing, and hopefully we can do uh, do more of that. Yeah, sp speaking of London Eurovision, you guys had a penchant uh, every time that you've been there to do like a really epic cover. Like last year was the sun always shines on TV, if I'm rightly. You got have you guys got another big cover planned for this year, or are you guys just just focusing full on MGP then? We got more songs coming out, and we're working on them. Uh, we haven't decided if we're going to do another cover this time. This uh, time around, we have a few other songs in making, and uh, uh, so uh, we'll see what will be the next one. I, one thing is for sure: people will be able to dance, and we keep we're going to keep the energy level up. Speaking of speaking of dancing, the energy cats asked if you could make music in a different style, what would you choose? If you could like pick any other kind of genre to go with, like take any one of your songs or any song that you've written or thinking about and put it into a different genre, what would you choose? I would choose uh, maybe techno. Try the techno. Oh, 
techno keynote. Yeah. I love the idea of that. That now that sounds awesome. Or <laughs> um, hard rock. That would be awesome. Hard rock, yeah. Yeah, oh. because we're like we're people with a lot of energy, and yeah, to see us with a rock band, that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that live would look immense. I'm just seeing the stage in my head now. That would be incredible. <laughs> Tan but I also would love. I would also love to have like uh, Kano in symphony. So like with a big symphony orchestra, yeah. uh, that would be really cool. Yeah. Oh, that's also amazing. <laughs> All the genres now. <laughs> Jazz it up. Stop dumping down the car. Um, yeah, uh, on our TikTok. Yeah. That was so much fun. <laughs> yeah, like, like a nice swing version of some of your stuff. That, that'd yeah. be awesome. Yeah. Uh, Tanya's asked, how do you feel about going back to Eurovision? Let's say, hypothetically, you won MGP. Uh, how would you feel about going back to Eurovision all these years later? I mean, we love everything about Eurovision. Um, the love that we felt when we were there in 2019, it was just amazing and to see that Eurovision gathers so many people from different backgrounds, cultures all around the world through the love of music. And to be able to be a part of that again, that would be like a dream come true. Um, I mean, Eurovision is everything that we stand for. And yeah, we really, really want to go back. So fingers crossed. Yeah, uh, coming back to songwriting, Kira's asked, and I really like this question, it's actually really quite in depth. She asks, as a band, you're known for your uh, your beloved blend of English, Norwegian and, and Sami lyrics and arrangements that blend them together. How does the multilingual nature affect the songwriting process? I think um, we, we love bringing people together as well as we, we love bringing different influences and different languages together in our songs. Um, I think it's like whatever comes natural, um, like with Dum Guitar when we started out uh, building the song, suddenly Fred starts out with Dum Digga Dum Digga Dum Digga. It was just like natural to have that in instead of a, a big a yoiking part for that song. But then also, like we bring in uh, a part which is uh, an um, slotterstev, which is like a singing culture from uh, from many hundred years ago, from the uh, part of Norway where I'm from. But also, and like adding uh, some Norwegian words wherever it fits, uh, we feel it fit, and it's kind of like it's all it's like it's a uh, it's a bit of. Um, you never know if it's gonna if it's gonna work uh, until we we've worked on it and produced everything. If it's because we want to build this layered cake, which hopefully will be tasty and hopefully it will balance it right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All I think about taste now is it's a, it's a very fun memory from last time you you guys were no it wasn't 2022 it was 2021 at the Hard Rock Cafe after you guys had performed Monument and you were in the bar and I just saw you. I think it was I think it was you, Alex, like jumping up and down with Ryland after several shots. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that I was was like looking behind you, I was like, what the <laughs> that was a little yeah. bit bizarre speaking. <laughs> But that's, there's a few weird and wonderful stories from left that, that, that involve you guys that I think we all remember, which which we will save for another day. Um, but anyway, so because <laughs> I think most of them aren't repeatable on there probably because it involves heavy, heavy drinking and that's just right. Uh, but anyway, different story. <laughs> different story we say. Um, so uh, David, uh, another question from another David. Outside of the group forming together, what are your guys' passions in life? So. Uh, Take away like the music side of it. What else do you guys like doing? Well, right now I like being a dad. I'm a freshly baked dad, so oh, yes. I'm talking with my son. It's my really, it's really my passion. And, yeah. For me, it's always been uh, cooking. Uh, like that's like when I make music or when I cook. That's when I really completely get uh, into everything. But I also like like working out. Uh, Playing handball, uh, and that's a good thing. Like, if you really like cooking, it's good to that. Uh, I enjoy working out as well. If not, I think it would be difficult. <laughs> yeah, for me as well. I mean, I uh, love working out, but yeah. like my life is completely music. Like, mm. I perform solo as well as with Kano. So it's like um, all my days go uh, doing music. So yeah, that's like my passion. I actually don't have another passion. <laughs> <laughs> I think, like, what? No, but yeah, I love uh, like being on stage. Food. Yeah, I love to yeah. eat food. Yeah, <laughs> this uh, doesn't work themselves. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Sp speaking of food, I know I asked you this last time you guys were on, but Kittens asked this again and see if it's changed. Favorite biscuit or any kind of like cake? 
Ooh, Ooh, cheesecake. Cake. I love oh. cheesecake. Mm. I like shortbread as well, uh, to be honest, uh, for biscuits. But uh, cake, oh, chocolate would, uh, you can never go wrong with chocolate. <clears throat> What about well, you? I don't really like cakes. Uh, mm, my, it's uh, weird. <laughs> it's weird. You can't, you, yeah. I don't like and, um, but, beef uh, cake. My, my, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am, I am this uh, high ketosis diet right now, so beef <laughs> is the right answer here. Beef with candles. Oh, fair, fair enough. And then finally, where can everyone find you on social media? Ooh, on TikTok, uh, we're Kano Music, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, and, and uh, Instagram, Band. Kano Band, Facebook. We have our own socials. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're everywhere mm. right now. Mm. Yeah, on Snap as well. Yeah, I am on Snap. Uh, you're I on post Snap. with our content yeah. there, but yeah. yeah. Fair, fair enough. Well, thank you very much for joining us, and good luck in Melody Grand Prix. And hopefully, by the time we air this on Sunday, you guys will have gone through. Thank you. Fingers. Fingers. Nice to talk to you.